Welcome back to the shop, my friends. It's been a while since I put out a video, and what better way to break back into a good old habit than uh, a nice little simple twisted bottle opener uh, craft. Uh, it's nothing too fancy, but it's sure to impress at the next barbecue you're uh, hosting when you pass her around to open up the cold ones. So uh, without further ado, let's fire up the forge. Before we get started, a quick overview. Other than your basic hammer, anvil, heat source, uh, materials, I'm gonna be using a half inch square bar by uh, six inches long. Uh, that's 12 mil by 152 mil long. I will be using a slot punch to drift your hole because we want this, the end product to be about one inch, uh, 25 mil, uh, diameter hole for your bottle opener which if you're using a half inch bar that ain't gonna work uh, you need to stretch the material and a slot punch will allow you to do that better uh, we'll do a slot vertically and that'll then then after we will drift the hole out wide uh, hand slot or top tool either way whatever your preference is and instead of using the horn of animal which is a perfectly acceptable method I just prefer to use a hand tool. I have a alignment pin or a bolt pin in the iron worker trade. Uh, with this, it allows me to, as I'm drifting, I can use my hardy hole. And when I get to there, I know that the top is one inch roughly, because that's a one inch hardy hole. And also in between heats, because you're not gonna be able to do that all in one heat, I can take that and you'll have your piece hanging on there and you'll see in the video, I'll be able to hammer down and slowly work that top because your top starts off square and as we're pushing this out it's rounded so to give that a more fine refined look it's gonna start rounding that top every time you loosen it off the tool you're also gonna see even though this is a larger tool keep it cool and other than that let's uh let's get to her <laughs>
we got a you got a nice bottle opener for your next uh, backyard barbecue party or whenever you want to have a cold one. Uh, it's sure to impress. And as you can see, it wasn't too difficult to make. Uh, when I got to the end there, I mean, I, I videoed this one, but I did a batch and you can do any of the blacksmithing twists that you uh, see. You can do, you know, right hand, left hand, uh, rope twist, cube twist. You can do some reverse squiggles. This one I did with a cutting torch. It was a little easier just to, on a half inch, just to keep your heat pinpointed. Unless you got a coal forge and you can really, you keep that uh, fire small. Or quench control. You can quench it down and just keep one part heated and give it a twist. I just found for nice tight twist squiggles it was easier with the torch. But uh, I hope this was uh, enjoyable and informative and uh, Hit that like and subscribe button and uh, hopefully I'll keep making these videos a little bit quicker this time. Till next time, happy forging.